Alright guys, uh, in this video we are going to be discussing the page tools and the search uh, inside of Notability. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. Uh, we're inside version 4.51 and so let me go ahead and open up the uh, let's open up the astronomy notes that I was looking working on previously and let's scroll up to the top here. So I added a bookmark to one of the pages that I was working on. Let me show you guys how to do that because uh, it, it can be quite handy, especially when you're working off of um, large uh, PDF documents. So in the top right hand corner is our pages button. Top right hand. Just click on that and then it expands our pages here so you can see all the pages. Now a few things you can do here. Um, First off, you can add pages by clicking on the plus sign. You can add a page above, you can add a page below if you want an additional page of notes to go in there. Um, you can also hit this X to remove that page. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> and you might have also noticed if you click and hold on whatever page you're on, you can also rearrange them. So I just stuck this page down below the first one. I want to move it back but that might come in handy for some of your kids. Okay, so we're looking at all pages right now. On this top part here, uh, there's really four buttons. First one is all pages. Second one is notes. And when you click on notes, that'll show you any part that uh, you have written in. So you can see there are three pages where I've added notes, and so it only pulls up those three pages. Um, then it also shows you bookmarks. And then the last one is search, which we're going to look at in a little bit. Let's go back to all pages. And let's say I want to go down here and this, this page here, the phases of the moon, I want to bookmark this. Uh, all I have to do is click on the little bookmark tab that is on that page on this top right hand corner here. And you can see that it turned red. So now it's bookmarked. So I previously bookmarked uh, the stars page. If I want to unbookmark that because I'm done with it, I just click on the bookmark again and it unbookmarks it. So now inside my bookmark, I just have that uh, the phases of the moon. So this is a fast way to jump right to what you need. Okay. Um, now let me uncheck it and go back to all pages. Now what I really like about this is the search feature here. Um, let's say I want to search for stuff with the sun. So I can just hit my search icon, type in sun, hit search, and then it's going to highlight for me all the occurrences where you see sun. So like here's one down here that it found. There's another one. There's multiple ones there. So it's just pulling up pages where it found the word sun. And then when I X out of my search, and go back to all pages, it's just gonna pull up all of the pages again. Okay, so that can be handy for your kids if they're trying to find a particular page. Maybe it's a particular person or a particular country a concept. They can just search for it and jump right to it. Um, now the search function actually gets more powerful when you leave. So let's uh, exit this note and let's go, we're inside of all notes right now. And I'm going to hit the search button on the top right. And I'm going to search for the same thing. I'm just going to search for sun. And it actually searches all of your notes for the word sun. Okay, now it's searching, it's looking inside of... Um, like PDFs. So if it's a PDF text, you know, it's, it's easier to find, um, you know, also on like a, like a Word document that you've uploaded under here, it's going to find it easily. It's not going to look for like your handwritten notes or anything like that. But uh, this is very handy here. So this, when I searched for sun, it pulled up this one on solar flares. And then I can see it automatically pulls up all the occurrences where it says sun. So this one's got it all over the place because it's all about solar flares. Um, but the search function is really awesome inside of Notability. 
um, it's a good one to make sure that your learners all know how to use.